Brad Ellsworth here once again. You're at number 13 in the series, The Noetic Language, making reference to the things that I uh, describe in my book, The Body of Language, A Body of Language, Revealing the Common Mind of Mankind. Today we're going to talk about my favorite pair, these two letters, identical when written except for the dot. This is ha, the medial strength H, and ha, its harsh twin. Uh, this is my favorite pair because when I was studying, trying to find the meanings of things, it was this pair that helped me make some great breakthroughs. I found that ha, the first one without the dot, means the arm. The arm when it is being good, when it's behaving, when it's playing nice. Ha is, you, is as I say, the arms being beneficial. Embrace, hold, love, warm, take in, take care of, surround, enclose, receive kindly. You find it in the word hasan, meaning good. You find it in hazan, meaning to embrace. Hawak and Hadis and Hafiz, all of these meaning to guard and protect. Helam, gentleness, clemency, decency. Uh, hab, love. You can't hardly beat that one. You find it in English in hale and whole and hearty and wholesome, uh, which is whole again. Um, helpful. Uh, then you go, let's go to its ugly stepsister, if you will, its evil twin, Ha. The unarm, I call it. Using the arm, you, well, I do this. The right arm is ha, the left arm is ha, just because I think it ought to be. Uh, to use the arms in a harmful or unkind way. Take in the arms to do harm or detain forcibly. Things I've written as my notes. Khatar, to betray. Khada, to deceive. Latach, to stain. Khaiba, a failure. Khabath, to be bad. It just goes on and on. You should see this list. There's like three or four pages of roots containing ha, and they're nasty, they're vicious, they're dirty. It has to do with excrement and snot and mucus and failure and abortions and that castration is one here. Uh, yes, it's in the word chayr, which is turned around by ra. But you'll have to see that in, the, in an earlier video. That kind of explains it. Uh, sadly, I believe that the he and the he have both come into English as a, an, a strong H. I believe that it is equivalent to the harm and hurt and harass and harangue of English. Uh, no proof for it. It just makes sense. It's a, since in, Eng in Arabic there is a duality, it ought to be expressed as a duality in another language and we just don't have a he in English, so it had to go somewhere. That's ha and ha, and I thank you for being with me. Keep watching for more videos. Matt Ellsworth, out.